The two tenants at the Chelsea Cinema, Wallace and a fashion store, have been told they'll be evicted when their lease expires at the end of the month. Wallace was one of five bidders for the controversial lease of the cinema, debated at a fiery Burnside Council meeting last night. At the end of the month, the curtain will close on the Wallace family's 40-year association with the Chelsea Cinema. It's very disappointing and sad to lose another screen. Um, very sad. This morning, the company, along with co-tenant Chelsea Fashions, received a call from Burnside Council saying their application to extend their lease on a month-by-month -month basis wasn't successful. To actually close this business and move now is... Oh, well, it's going to be a miracle to be able to do so. Wallace can only conclude that their bid to redevelop the cinema has also failed. Certainly, by being told what we have been told this morning, we need to be out by the 31st, lock, stock and barrel, that we are uh, not in the running anymore. Wallace was one of five companies to tender for the long-term operation of the site. The other front runners are believed to include the Maris Group, which operates the Palace Nova, and the owners of the Track Cinema. The council says a decision is imminent. I would be hopeful, uh, but not uh, entirely confident, that uh, we could uh, make a decision before Christmas, certainly before the end of the year. Debate over the Chelsea's future has always been heated, and last night's Burnside Council meeting was no different. Just, just take it easy, mate. Just take it easy. Don't you dare push me around. A businessman was involved in a scuffle with a former councillor while trying to leave the public gallery. He turned around, and I thought he was going to have a lunch, so I put my hand out to keep him at arm's length. The tender decision was later discussed by council members in private. Rosemary Tierney, ABC News, Adelaide.